Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? Um, I know it's always a top subject, especially for new guys. Is yo, man, let's talk about the money. So, I think I did my first, uh, my first four weeks or something. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm not wearing a shirt for the video. I hope that's okay. Seriously. Uh, I'm in my truck. Just got done cooking. Actually, you can just see my face anyway. You're all right. Sell down. All right. Everybody, everybody took it easy. Okay. Anyway, I did a video, I think, about my first four uh, four weeks of pay on this dedicated. And, um, you know, I think I talked about, you know, realistically, as a new guy, you can expect about, I was saying, about 40 grand. Um, I'll say this. My pay has gone up. Uh, not, they're just giving me, oh, I talked about my pay last time when we talked about it. I was only going about eight, doing eight hours a day. Uh, I was getting one node and, uh, that was it. But I think they have more faith in me. I'm kind of proven, you know, I'll be okay. I'm all right. So they give me a lot of days. They give me two loads. So I'm like doubling my money that day. I'm doubling my money. It's a long day, man. Let's talk about the money real quick. Still ain't that great. I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting in my time. All you guys, yo, man, ain't nothing. I'm putting in my time, all right? I got four months here. I got four months. They gave me a brand new truck, 2017, automatic. It's not bad. Imagine handing the keys over. Imagine you go and spend $150,000. I don't know how much one of these things cost. My dinner almost just popped. Spend one hundred and fifty thousand handing the keys to some dude that only has four months driving experience. That's crazy. Anyway, so I was saying you might make about forty thousand realistically on your first year. You know, I'm gonna stick to that number. Like if you're coming into this, just look at at, at that. But let me give you my last week's pay. My last week's pay was after taxes. 761 um i don't have before taxes it's going to be close to to a thousand uh the week after that or before that 673 uh after taxes um one before that 637 after taxes one before that 741 Time before that, 7.04. The one before that, 7.61. Okay? So you're seeing what's going on. So that's, um, I'm probably close to about $900 a week. So that's, um, that's probably where that's all at about. <clears throat> um, so you can do the math. We can do the math real quick. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Hold on. Hold on. Let's say 900. Say you work 50 weeks a year. $45,000. All right. $45,000. Now today, today alone, I probably made about, I haven't seen the numbers yet, probably about $220. That's about what I made. I had two loads. Let me talk, let me tell you about my day today. All right, I'm going to give you a whole freaking rundown, baby. So you can you can figure out what you got going on. All right. I woke up in the truck. Did I wake up in the truck? No, I didn't wake up. I actually slept at home and drove here this morning. I was in the truck at 4 a.m. Okay. I did my pre-trip, picked up my load. So 4 a.m. I started my day. I got done my day at 4.30 in the afternoon. It's a 12 and a half hour day. Now you say, like I said, that's 12 and a half hours, all right? Let me tell you what my day consisted of, that 12 and a half hours. I got here at 4, started driving at about 4.30. I got to where I was going at uh, 6.15, okay? Now I didn't have to be there till 7, but I like to get there early. I cut that one even earlier. I got there at 6.15. Okay, so I did an hour and 45 minutes of driving. No traffic. I think it was, uh, I don't know, it was like 100 miles or something. 
So usually, sometimes they don't take me till 7. But I knocked on the door. They take me in at 6.15. They're like, well, back in, but we're not going to start unloading you till 7 because that's when our guys come in. Yeah, no problem. I cut the locks, open the doors, and I back the truck in at 6.15 in the morning. Now, they're not going to start unloading me till 7. It's probably going to take an hour. So anyway, I back the door in. So I do. I come in the back of the truck. I rub one out, and I took a nap. No, wait. <laughs> that's too much information, man. <laughs> For real, though. All kidding aside, I rub one out, and I took a nap. Well, it's like 6.15. They rap on the door. Boom, 8 o'clock. All right. 8 o'clock. I hear them rap on the door. I go back. I go out, sign my paperwork, and uh, back to the... Back to the... Um, Distribution, the lowest distribution. Now, I have an load. So I get back, I think I want to say at about, uh, I think I got back about 10.30. Um, hooked my other trailer up and went to Philadelphia. Drove drove to Philadelphia and I got there around 12.30. 12.30, I walk in, I open my doors, I back into the dock. Boom, I'm done. I come to the back here, I watch videos, I watch a bunch of YouTube stuff. Um, till two o'clock. So both places for an hour and a half at the first stop and an hour and a half here, I wasn't doing anything. I was watching videos. A lot of times, sometimes I'll do like a little jailhouse workout, like outside the truck. I might even do it inside the truck, but it's too hot right now. Really, it's too hot outside. I'll do like a little jailhouse workout, some push-up sit-ups. Yeah, but so you can, you got time. So that's what I did. Two o'clock. They rap on the door. Boom, boom. I hear boom, boom, boom. All right, they're done. I go in. I sign the paperwork. I drive back. It takes me till 4.30 to get back here. Now I'm done. All right. Well, like I said, but now it's like 4.30 when I have double loads. Like, I didn't go home because basically I go to bed. I'll go to bed maybe at like 8 o'clock, 8.30, and I have to get up at 3.30. I might even, I no, I have to get up at 3. So I might get up. So if I drove home, uh, say I got here at 4.30, I do my post or I go 5, it's a 45-minute drive home. I'm there almost 6. I'm there like 2 hours, and then I got to go to bed. And, uh, like, I'd rather save the gas. I got a three-quarter ton truck. You know, it ain't cheap on gas. I'm like, you know what? I'll just hang out at the truck tonight. So, I mean, 220 hours took me, we'll say, 12 hours. You say, Jay, man, that's like not even $20 an hour. And you're right. You're right. You're looking at 12 hours. If I was making 20 an hour, that'd be 240. I'm going to say I probably made about 220. I don't know. I, I might have got hit 240. I don't know. But like I said, that ain't even $20 an hour for doing a, a very valuable skill, in my opinion. Not everybody's coming out here and driving these things. So what time I got? 8.15. All right. We got, some, we got a little bit of time. So... And then, on the top of that 12-hour day, now I'm still sitting here. I mean, I'm sleeping. I'm cooking my dinner. I actually did my little jailhouse workout. Um, you know, I'll take a little, uh, little like, uh, bath here, like a little wipe down. I'll watch some TV, and then, uh, and then I'll go to sleep. Uh, so, only that $20 an hour, and I'm here all night. But let me tell you something. I used to work in this factory. Anybody who lives near me, you give me a call. I'll get you a job making $20 an hour. You want $20 an hour? You want to be home every night? You don't want to do this? I'll, I'll show you. You can be a print operator running one of these big machines, wearing a hairnet and a beard net, and in there turning wrenches all night because you're in charge of two machines and one of them's always down. It's a pain in the ass, man. They pay great. Pay is great. But I can tell you what. They ain't going somewhere and rubbing one out and then taking a nap for an hour and two hours. You know what I mean? They ain't doing that. So, so that's a uh, little more for you new guys, man. It's all, all about you new guys. All right. I dig it. All right. Um, like I said, I, I kind of, uh, you know, you, you got you to gotta see what, what you're in it for. You know, why you want to do this. Here, I always say, always, if you're only in it for the money, and you're like, man, I don't want to freaking drive a truck, but I hear the money's real good. Or, God, all the, all the, it just sounds shit. I see it on the free, I hear about it. I don't want to drive a truck. I don't want to do it. 
You know, I like being around people. I like working around people. And uh, but, but I heard the money's real good. If you're if you're like that, man, I don't know, man. I don't know if you want to do this. Me, I like doing my own thing, being my own, doing my own thing. So, is there anything else I wanted to say? Probably, man. Sometimes I'd be loving to hear. Yo, I was alone all day. I was pretty much alone all day. So, you know what I mean? I'm getting to talk a little bit. All right? So, bear with me. You know, let me vent a little bit. Be there for me. I'll be there for you, man. Anyway, you guys got any questions? Oh, that's what I wanted to say, too. Don't ever forget, you know, I don't know about your area, but, and I'm still thinking about it, but I'm just digging this account, so you can go local after a year. You Well, I could actually go local now. There's a lot of jobs for three months. It, actually, I'll have my six months here soon. I could go local, but it's such an easy gig. I mean, I'm swinging the doors, I'm backing up, and I'm freaking taking naps and watching videos. You know what I mean? It ain't bad. It ain't a bad gig, you know? Grass is always greener on the other side. I know I got a good thing. So, we'll, we'll see about the pay. You know, uh, I think I get a raise here soon. So, anyway, I'm 11 minutes. That's it. That's all. That, that's that's it. You guys take it easy. Have any questions, do the bottom thingy. And sign down there, and I'll 